Hey everyone, Gig Guy London. Um, so I want to talk about um, vehicle purchases and um, like rear wheel drive, front wheel drive, all wheel drive options. Now, um, just thinking back to this um, recent extreme weather when we had the um, extreme cold weather and the snow, more so the snow, yeah, it's just driving conditions. Now, um, typically what I see when it snows is a lot of rear wheel drives um, typically, uh, typically BMWs and Mercedes I'm seeing actually, um, long wheelbase, but not necessarily long wheelbase, but yeah, rear wheel drive vehicles, um, slipping and sliding around, yeah, just like totally dangerous. Um, they don't seem to handle the snow too well. Now, fortunately in London, it doesn't snow every year and um, it's not that heavy. Um, we had an exception um, recently, we had a good layer of snow and um, yeah, I saw, um, I went, I got up early, you can watch one of my other videos, I got up early and I was, I was driving um, around in that snow. Um, in my Toyota Prius, which um, fortunately handles very well, front wheel drive, um, it's got the, it's a hybrid, um, I mean it handles very well, you can put it in, um, in the B mode, on the um, B mode, on the drive mode, but it's um, engine braking and um, it seems to give you a lot more control um, when you come off the gas because um, you, you'll be slowing down. You might burn a bit more petrol, but I mean, it keeps your, your car on a straight and narrow, stops you from sliding around. Um, Prius does extremely well. Providing you've got a good set of tires on your car, does really well. Um, if you are considering um, doing private hire work, I know it doesn't snow that much, so I mean, you might lose three days out of the year, four days out of the year, at, at the very worst. Um, but if you are um, buying a car um, to work as a private hire driver, be it with Uber or any other um, private hire um, operator firm, um, it might be a consideration um, to stay away from rear wheel drive um, if you're going to be working in like, yeah, weather that's going to be undesirable. Um, it shouldn't make that much of a difference. Last time it snowed a lot was probably about four years ago. Um, if I remember correctly, correct me if I was wrong, if I am wrong. Um, but yeah, rear wheel drive might not be the best option at all. Um, you might get stranded. Last thing you want to do is smash your car up um, because of um, poor road conditions. And um, yeah, worse still if you've got a customer in the car as well. Just yeah, it's a whole lot of paperwork and a lot of drama. And obviously, people can get hurt, and you're smashing up other people's cars or someone's fence or I mean local authority lamp post and they're gonna be billing you for that as well you know <laughs> so um, yeah just a little consideration if you're buying a car uh, for this purpose um, yeah all-wheel drive preferably you know what I mean get yourself an Audi that might be my next car some Audi 4 all-wheel drive hybrid I swear they've got some of them out I've seen one um, or you know I mean or front-wheel drive vehicle yeah, I mean, um, yeah, Prius done me well. I'm pleasantly surprised with its handling in the snow. Um, obviously, uh, there has been a little bit of sliding, but it's all in moderation. Uh, but yeah, something to think about. Um, if you've got a rear-wheel drive car and you're a private hire driver, or if you just got a rear-wheel drive car and you was out there in the snow, um, yeah, let me know how you got on. It's the gig guy. London, I'm signing out. Peace.